Geeks, what's poppin'? Forgive me if I sound a little funny. I had emergency uh, oral surgery earlier this week. That's why I'm just reviewing this, because I got it in, I think, on Sunday or Monday. And I've been dying to get to it, but I just was in too much pain to talk. But it's finally here. AEW Wrestling, the acclaimed, my favorite tag team, finally get some action figures. A little bit of a rant, it took too long. And it's a box set, ringside exclusive. Why this happened, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad I'm getting this set because in box it looks superb, but these guys should have been in action figure form a long time ago. Part of the reason I kind of backed off of AEW Unrivaled Unmatched, I have most of them up until recently, but number one, they were repeating too many figures. Cody Rhodes, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, they were in every other wave. It was getting a little bit too much. So I kind of had a problem with that because they claimed at one point they were the winningest tag team, they were tag team champions, and there was no hint of action figures for them. But anyway, let me get off my soapbox because I've been so excited about this. I've been like a little kid. I ordered this because I knew it was going to come out around my birthday, and it came just a couple days after my birthday, and it looks great. And I know you're probably going to laugh at me now, but I actually had dreams about reviewing this last night because I knew that my jaw was going to be okay to do the review. So I kept waking up in the night. I was so excited like a little kid. But anyway, rant over. Let's check it out. Look at that beauty. Max Caster, he's got that awesome sparkly baseball jersey, his gold chain, stoic head, head with tongue out, his headphones, his hat, AW mic, his pointing finger. Anthony Bowens, he's got his classic vest, sesame trunks, and the pink and white's full effect. He got daddy ass with his sesame tights, his hat, and soft good shirt. Looking awesome. Backdrop is gold with opaque scissors in the background. I think you can see it now. The front flap that folds down says the acclaimed on it. Accessories. Anthony Bowens. Matt Caster. Daddy ass. Yo! I'm impressed. Now granted, I haven't opened or reviewed any AEW figures in a while. Probably been about four waves since I've done anything, maybe five. But these are much improved over the first few waves that I did open. And the accessories and the soft goods here, they make it. The detail here is insane. Especially on Casper. That sequence outfit, the silver on his trunks, silver on his boots, man, kills it. Daddy ass, he's a little bit disappointing. I wish they'd put him in his trunks. I know he's been wearing the jogging pants a lot lately, but daddy ass, Mr. Ass, he usually shows his ass off in those trucks. And so we'll start with him. All right, so Jazz wears is keeping with the tradition of no nipples. But you can see without his shirt, he does have his tattoos. So they're accurate there. I think the haircut looks pretty good. Face sculpt, spot on. I did have a little trouble getting the hinge on his foot to line up because it doesn't turn. He does have a calf pivot. So if you turn that to line it up, then the scissors are off. So, not a big fan of that. I do think it's time for him to start pivoting to pinless joints. I know they're a young company and they're probably and they're probably still working with the budget a little bit. For an exclusive box set like this at a higher price point, that'd be the perfect place to introduce that newer technology, at least for them, and have it covered. All right, you get 360 at the head. A little bit of a tilt left. A little bit of a tilt right. Nice range looking down. 
really good range looking up. Arms get up, yay high. Hug range. And 360 at the shoulder, 360 at the bicep, 360 at the wrist. No butterfly joints, but wingspan is decent. Double joint pins, elbows, working. Wrist hinges give you a repulsive blast and kiss the ring. Abdominal rocker and waist help to give you a little bit of crunch. And some willy way back. Leans with it a little bit. Rocks with it a little bit. Can he roll? Yeah, he can roll. You do not get a 360 up top. If you go too far, it does pop out. It just happened to me. No 360 at the waist. He does have a thigh cut where you get a full 360. He's got a calf cut, full 360. And you get 360 at the ankle. And oh, I was wrong. Looks like that white piece does turn. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was just twisting the figure. The bend range is slight. So is the kick. But he's up in age, so we can forgive that. Great split, though. And damage great, too. Double jointed pin knees, give you really good range. And the toe range. Feet are on rockers. And he comes in at six and three quarter inches. Mr. Bones. He doesn't have any tattoos or anything, so I'm not gonna take his vest off. Get 360 the head, it's a little bit tougher with that collar. Be careful because it's white, you don't wanna scuff it up. No tilt left around the head, but he can look down. As well as up. Arms get up yay high. No butterfly joints, but really good range on the wingspan. You can stretch back there. Hug range. And those shoulder joints do have intermittent clicks, so you shouldn't get sagging on the arms even when he's holding accessories. Yeah, 360 at the shoulder, 360 at the bicep, 360 at the wrist. Double jointed pin elbows give you really good range. At the wrist hinges, you get your repulsive blast and you kiss the ring. Upper torso rocker and waist combined to give you a good crunch, as well as the Willy Way Back. And unlike Daddy Ass, you do get a 360 the upper torso rocker, uh, but not the waist. Waist does turn the sub a little bit, but you're not getting a 360. You get 360 at the thigh cut. Yep, you get 360 at the boot cut. 360 at the foot. He is on rockers. Great split. Bend damage, not so much. Bend over shallow, leads to a shallow kick. You only get about 90 degrees on those double jointed pin knees because of his knee pads. I'm sure you can pull him down. I don't want to pull him mine down because I don't want to get loose because I'm going to display him as is. Toe range up, not bad. Toe range down is great. Tippy top of his head comes in at about six and one quarter inches. That head gives you a full 360 around. He doesn't really give you any tilt either. Good range looking down. Good range looking up. Arms get up way high. No butterfly joints, but his wingspan is sick. MJF hug range. You get a 360 at the shoulder, no intermittent clicks, 360 at the biceps. His biceps are a little bit small. I think they kind of dropped the ball there. And 360 at the wrist. Wrist hinges give you a repulsive blast, gets the ring, really good range. Double jointed pin elbows give you that work. Upper torso, rocker, and waist combined to give you good crunch. As well as the Max Caster Way Baxter. Yeah, I said it. You can really lean with it, you can really rock with it. And he gets a pretty decent roll with it. Do we get a 360? Oh, he doesn't want to go. No 360 at the waist. And that upper torso rocker, nah, doesn't want to let you go. So he can twist and turn a little bit, but you're not getting 360. Unless you're more brave than me, because it feels like it's going to pop, and I don't want to push it. Pretty good split. Bend damage, not bad. Bend over, pretty good. Kick, not bad as well. That thigh cut. 
gives you a full 360 there, as well as a nice boot cut and 360 at the foot. Those silver boots are on rockers. Those double jointed pin knees give you more than 90 degrees even with the knee pads on. Toe range up is pretty good. Toe range down is great. And the top is here, he comes in between six and a quarter and six and a half inches. All right, I think I'm ready to render my verdict. Yo! Sizzle me, daddy ass. Yes. All right, so here's my verdict. I dig it. Do you like AEW wrestling action figures? Do you like the acclaim? If the answer to either one of those is yes, then get it. Not many shortcomings. Max Caster's head sculpts missed the mark a little bit, but Bones and Daddy Ass are dead on. And on the flip side, Max Caster's articulation far surpasses the other two. So you give and you get. Forgot Billy Gunn's hat there. So Max Caster steals the show. His outfit is off the chain. The silver really pops. That sequence is great. He comes with most accessories. But the other two are spot on. I would have preferred Daddy Ass and some shorts, but that's a minor complaint. This is one of those exclusives that I think you need to pick up. Once it sells out, it's probably going for a lot on the aftermarket, but I love it. I waited a long time to get these guys in my collections. I'm gonna put them prominently on my shelf tomorrow and post some pictures. I couldn't be happier. Some things that can make them better. It's not specifically this box set. It's just time for jazz wearers to move on to pinless elbows and give a little bit more detail in the body and the torsos. Give them some nipples, move away from these torsos that all look exactly the same. But again, that really doesn't take away from the greatness of this set. All right, so let me know what you think. If you've always wondered what that listen, listen was that I used for you non-wrestling collectors, now you know it's these guys. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to share this video or the channel with a friend that loves the classic wrestling figures like we do. And remember, everybody loves the acclaimed Sizzle Me Daddy Ass. Uh, ow, I hurt my tooth. <laughs>